Game number one is Simon Says. You ask the students to pick a number, then you click on it and you say, Simon Says, vacuum the floor. And all the students have to copy. You check, okay, click again. Simon Says, hop on one foot. And all the students have to hop. Wiggle your fingers. And if they do that, then they lose a point. Oops. Okay, so this is a fun way for them to practice. Also make sure to go through to the very end and then review the questions. Another fun game they can play is called Run Around the House. You tell the students to run around and find something. It's almost like a scavenger hunt. So let's play. Go here, let's make it eight questions to make it easier, quiz only. Okay, everyone, find something you can bake with. And the students have to run into the kitchen and find something. Uh, come back. Find some breakfast food. They can find some cereal, some eggs, some milk, and they come back. The first ones back get a point. Who can find the longest thing? Everybody runs around to try and find the longest thing. Thing. This is a great way to get your students active and engaged in class. Game number three is called Stop the Bus. It is basically categories, and I did another video on categories that you can check out over here. How does it work? The students get a piece of paper in front of them and they can work in teams or they can work alone. You show them a letter and some things that they have to write down starting with that letter. Let's take a look. I, so write down a girl's name, a boy's name and a pet's name. So they can write Isabel, uh, a boy's name starting with I, Ian and a dog's name, Iguana, <laughs> is that a great name? And then you say yes, whoever's first gets the points. You can also check with the students. You can let all the students do it. You can put them into teams. It's up to you what you think is the best possible way. If you've only got a few students, maybe they can do it on their own individually. Or if you want to put them into groups, let them work together. Game number four is called Let's Move. Since students are behind their computers so long, you need to get them to move around. This is a great way for them to learn new vocabulary and to have fun with your online classes. So let's play this. We'll say eight questions and go. Spin around ten times and the students have to spin around. You can check. Ooh, dizzy. Walk like a crab. <laughs> Look at this girl. She looks like a real crab. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody dance so everybody just has to dance it's a great way to get the students energy levels up before the class you can do it at the start of class you can do it when the students look sleepy or you can do it at the end of class to end in a fun way so let's try some more do a handstand uh, maybe don't try this one at the computer do a chicken dance <laughs> okay, great. This is a really fun game and I think you can use it with young learners and even use it with older students to get them active in class. Number five, password. Password is a fun game. You put students into groups and each group has to select one member who looks away. Then you show both groups a word. They have to explain it to the other student by only using one word at a time. So let's say group one is first and they say a word and the student can guess. If they don't make it, it passes on to the other group and they say a word and that person guesses. The first person to guess the correct answer wins. You're going to play and then make sure at options you turn on pass, then you go to quiz only. So let's say it's team one, you show them a bear and the student has to look away. So then you say pass, it's this team, pass, pass, 
pass until eventually the first student gets it right. Perhaps you can ask the students to blindfold themselves to make it easier. Game number six is called Odd One Out. You show the students a couple of words and they have to decide which one is different from the rest. It doesn't matter what their answer is, but they have to give a good reason for their answer. So if we go here to play, we click cheese, milk, yogurt, butter. Perhaps they can say butter is different because it's hard. Or you could say milk because it hasn't been changed or modified in any way. Anything could be right as long as they give a valid reason. You can put the students into groups so that they discuss and think about the answer. This one, for example, you can say trousers, shirt, skirt or shorts. Which one is different? Some students might say trousers because it starts with a T. Other students might say shirt because it isn't worn around the legs. Odd One Out is a fun way for students to think about their answers. This game is called Box of Lies. This is quite interesting. You show one student an image. They have to memorize that image. That student then has to explain the image to their friends. But they can decide to explain the exact image or they can explain a lie. The other students have to say whether that student told the truth or lied. If they are right, they get a point. If they are incorrect, they don't get a point. Make sure to tell the students to keep their own scores and tell them not to cheat. This is a great way for students to practice explaining themselves creatively. Game number eight. You show one student an emotion which they have to act out to the class. The first person to send you a private message with the correct answer wins. You can also give them points. If they send you a private message and they are correct, they get a point. This is a great way for students to act out emotions. they feel they feel happy number nine taboo you might know this game already a student looks away and the rest of the class looks at the picture and they have to explain the word without using the other words so students have to explain coffee but they may not say hot drink or cafe to help them explain it to a friend or to a partner in a group. Laptop, they can say computer, portable, Apple, Microsoft or keyword to help them. Makes it a little bit more fun and students have to think creatively how to explain it to their friend. And number 10, art challenge. I went with something a bit more fun for younger learners but it can also be used as a good brain break in between activities. Students pick one of the pictures which they have to draw. The best drawing wins a prize. If you have a couple of minutes left in your class or you want them to relax, they pick one of these numbers and then everybody has to quickly draw it. The person who has the best drawing gets a point. So they draw a skateboard. They draw a unicorn. This is really fun for younger learners. To make it even more engaging, you can tell the students they only have one minute to draw a picture. That way they frantically draw and you can see the fun results. If you want some more games, ideas or activities, watch the next video on my channel. I'm Eric from Etiquette and I'll see you next time.